Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, as well as Cross Watchers, general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters always can be reversed, vice versa. So this is going to be, like I said, for Gemini for December 2020. We're doing something a little bit different this time. We're going to be offering extended readings um, for purchase on Vimeo. Link's going to be down below. Uh, just a reminder, if you do not resonate with this reading here on YouTube, do not buy the one over on Vimeo as it's going to be an extension of the one that we talk about here. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with <clears throat> Gemini, December 2020. Okay, let's <clears throat> go with Gemini for December 2020 here. The moon, this is intuition, this is also the hidden and the unknown. Oh my God, this has happened. This is the third time this has happened. High Priestess, the moon and the High Priestess coming out. Four, I usually do four, or at least for this round, I've been doing four tarot cards first, right? <clears throat> in two daily readings I did, they're the same day. One was the full moon eclipse and one was just a general reading that day that I did. In both of those readings, the moon and the High Priestess came out in the first four tarot cards. That's insane. Um, <clears throat> that's very interesting. So, what I'm going to say for you guys, off the bat, if you have not watched um, the Full Moon Eclipse reading I did, as well as the other daily reading that I did that day, um, <clears throat> I think one was called... Actually, I'm going to tell you because I have a feeling it's going to be very relevant to you. I mean, seriously, how many cards are in here? <laughs> Both of the... And, in one of them, they came out in this order too, I believe. Yeah, it was. I forget which one it was. Um, just in case you guys, you guys basically are getting a lot of bonus readings. Um, <clears throat> it was. Let's see. <clears throat> so we had the full moon eclipse. You can feel it coming. Then they unexpectedly pop in. I can't see the rest of the title. And then the other one was getting the love you wanted. Okay. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Very interesting. The wheel. It's about destiny and fate. <clears throat> So in those readings, they talked about how you have a strong feeling that something's coming, but you can't quite see it yet. Um, we'll see if that kind of plays out here. Ten of Pentacles, ultimate happiness, abundance, family, um, all as well as financial abundance, because we're including Pentacles in this one. Um, right, let's ride the moon here. The Emperor. The Emperor might be hidden. Or you have a strong intuition of who the emperor is, or both. <clears throat> There's a high priestess here. Oh my god. <coughs> the empress. Look at this. Wow. That's insane. That is insane. Moon clarified by emperor, high priestess. Clarify the Empress. Both people <clears throat> might have a strong sense about each other, that each other's their emperor or emperors, counterpart here, 
We have counterparts on the board. Um, <clears throat> or you have a strong intuition that your emperor or empress is coming in, regardless of whether you know who they are or not. Why is the wheel here? That is insanity. Why is the wheel here? <clears throat> temperance. <laughs> what is temperance? Patience. It will happen. Divine timing. Everyone's favorite, right? Patience, divine timing. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, first of all, because it's destined the wheel, right? Fate. <clears throat> but it's going to happen when it's supposed to. Temperance. But it's like, that's the struggle when you, in a sense, when you have a strong intuition intuition is you can feel things coming before they do and it's like whoa where is it <laughs> that's a ton of pentacles here <clears throat> five of swords someone may be fighting it more for the ten of pentacles <laughs> four of cups someone may be fighting this or someone's afraid of rejection. The Four of Cups here. They might be afraid someone's not going to accept their cup, not going to like their offer. Um, or someone's just fighting it in general. They're not sure if they want it. They're not sure if they're interested. And obviously they are. We have Emperor, Empress, Counterparts. But it's based out of fear. All of this is based out of fear. It's like, you want you want the Ten of Pentacles. You want the Ten of Pentacles, right? You know, you think about it all day long. Not all day long, but you know what I mean. You think about it forever. You want your person, you want your person. Your person arrives and it's like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wasn't ready, wasn't ready. Um, it's like, I, I'm not sure if I want to accept this cup or I'm not sure if the other person wants my cup, basically. All right. <clears throat> we have the spirit dancer, self-expression and freedom. This is also kind of about spiritual awakening and involvement. Um, you could have, sorry, my throat's weird today. Someone might have to talk. Um, th this connection could have awakened one or both people, or this is just people that are highly evolved spiritually, right? Something else. The Piper. This is music, seduction. Um, magnetic, it's kind of, it's, it's like a snake charmer. It's like luring them in. Both people may feel very magnetized towards each other. Music could be relevant in this situation. Um, but there, there's like a, like think about like someone's playing music and like hypothetically the music notes are floating and you hear it off in the distance, you're automatically going to be attracted to that music. You're like, oh, where's the music coming from? Where is it coming from? Right? That's what I'm talking about. They may be very curious about one another or something like that drawn to each other but there's a fear aspect of it but it's like oh you've always wanted your emperor or empress ten of pentacles you know you're there's a couple different situations here because obviously it's general reading it's like you might have a strong intuition that's coming like i said and you're like where is it where is it on the other hand it might be here and you're like whoa 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 <laughs> slow down It's gonna be a lot longer than the other ones. <laughs> uh, okay. Anything else? I'm so annoyed my alarm just went off and I have to edit this video. Alright, anything else here for the situation for Gemini for December 2020? about the situation here for okay. seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference it's going to be a relationship where you're remember i said this this says seduction as well i forgot that I even said that it's something that's very alluring 
And I don't think it's just that because we have emperor and empress, we have ten of pentacles. But a connection, a soul connection is also very sexually alluring, right? So there's a strong sexual pull here as well. But it's not just that. <clears throat> Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Both people are in this energy right now. They are living their best lives single, basically. They don't have that 10th pentacle. They're in nine of pentacles type of energy. Okay. Okay, Alfred, tell us about this situation here. Firefly, soul spark, illumination, chemistry. We keep talking about that, right? Chemistry. Um, it's also soul recognition to me. Like I said, you might have a strong intuition as somebody, right? You might see someone and you're like, oh my God. Feel immediately drawn to them. And you're like, I don't even know this person. Why am I so drawn to this person? Soul recognition, right? Soul spark. You've known them from the past life. The moon again. I mean, look how much intuition vibes we have here we'll look more into up what's up with that in the extended but um okay, I'll pull two more cards and then we're gonna go over to the extended all right anything else here hummingbird enjoyment be present this kind of goes along with girl talk card right it's two people that are just kind of living their best lives floating along and then boom you might recognize somebody and you're like, whoa, I, I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared, prepared for this. While well, maybe the other person is trying to remain present and patient. This is what's going on. We're going to talk about this when we get to the extended. The Empress. Second time we've had the Empress here. All right. Um, we're going to continue this over on Vimeo and the extended link's going to be down below. Uh, if this is where we part ways, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you have not already. And um, thumbs up this video as well. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> um, yeah. I've, oh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, follow me at It's Simply Sharon and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.